All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm, I have something interesting to, to tell you guys. I'm in my Model S. This is a 2015 Model S. It's the P85D, and this has the free supercharging for life. And what that means is back like in 2012 when the Model S came out, one incentive for certain trim levels that Tesla gave was that they would, they would offer free supercharging for life of the car. Supercharging is Tesla's fast charging that you'd use like on a road trip. A supercharger is not something you use every you would use every day to charge your car. It's really for extremely fast charging to while you're on a trip or if you're out, you know, out driving around and you need a quick charge, you can stop by a supercharger if there's one close to you. So this car has free supercharging. So that means this car can go on a road trip like, and I've taken it on a handful of road trips uh, from Utah to like Reno to Sacramento, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, um, and have had to pay zero for charging costs because it was absolutely free because of the free supercharging for life. Now, this supercharging for life, I'm the second owner of this. The previous owner that owned this, um, I, it was a private party sale and it sold directly to me and it transferred to me, luckily. A lot of times, though, if the if the car had free supercharging for life and it was sold through a sold through a dealer auction, or if it ever is sold back or traded back into Tesla, Tesla strips that off. And when you when some the new buyer buys it, they will not have free supercharging. You have to pay when you use the supercharging network. And I've just kind of wondered, like, how much is that free supercharging for life worth on this car? Because this car, you know, technically for the life of the car can road trip and get free charging from Tesla for free and you know there's really no limitation on it other than the car is going to continually you know the battery is going to degrade the uh, you know it's just a slower charging car it doesn't have it can't charge uh, it only charges like a 78 kilowatts per hour which, whereas the new the newer Teslas will charge at you know 250 kilowatts so it char the, so you do kind of pay for it. You you pay for it, and there's more time to at, to sit at the charging stations. When I go on a road trip, I have to sit at a charging station. About every 150 miles, I'm stopping and charging for 30 to 40 minutes to you know get to the next stop, 150 miles or so away. And so it's free. It would be a lot more annoying. The road trip would be a lot more annoying if I had to pay for the supercharging and wait 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm glad that I have it. And it's been good, and we've gotten some good use out of it. There's there's no real superchargers around, like, in my direct location. The nearest one's probably 25 miles. And I'll occasionally stop at that one if I'm, like, you know, traveling through the area. But the ones in my area are not really ex easily accessible. Like, you got to get up the freeway. you got to, you know, go through a couple side streets. And, um, like, how much is the free supercharging worth over the lifetime of the vehicle? Because... Um, that's one of the main reasons I'm holding on to this car and, and probably will continue to hold on to the car is it just has that lifetime free supercharging. Now, I don't do, like I have, I have four kids. My wife and I have four kids, so there's six of us. This Model S has a seven seat option in the back. It's got that rear jump, the rear facing jump seat in the back. So we can, we've actually, all six of us have gone in this on road trips and it's been, you know, it's been manageable. I mean, it's, it's, it's tight. Uh, we got to fill up the, the front trunk, the rear trunk. The foot, the foot room, you know, any kind of foot room on the back. The, the back, we have uh, stuff on the on the floor, uh, you know, for us to go for three or four days overnight trip. It's it's you know, we, we need a lot of luggage, and so for six people, it's it's hard harder to do that. I'm kind of wondering, like, let's say when my kids are all gone, and there's just like my wife and I, we want to go on trips. It would, um, you know, we'd probably use this car a lot more because it'd just be the two of us, be easier to travel. There wouldn't be like the hassle of bringing kids like when you have kids and you're on road trips you know you know if you're like me you just want to get from a to b as quickly as possible because every minute they're sitting in the car is one more minute they could potentially just have a you know a fight or just scream and yell and so you know like road trips for me now they're not like hey let's go and enjoy the drive and enjoy the scenery and stop off and enjoy cool places it's like a to b as fast as possible and <laughs> before the kids have a meltdown. Tesla came out in February with an incentive program that they would give you an extra $5,000 towards your trade-in if you traded in a car that has the free supercharging for life towards a new like Model S or X. And I thought that was kind of an interesting offer. So it's like if Tesla was gonna give me, let's say $40,000 for this car, they would give me an extra 5,000 
to trade it in to towards the purchase of a new S or X uh, to kind of like upgrade. And that $5,000 incentive is kind of to make up for the future value of all the supercharging that you could potentially give. It's interesting that Tesla is offering that because it, it they they must think that there there obviously is some eva- some value to the free supercharging. I don't know what that value is because I really haven't used supercharging a whole lot in this car. I really haven't. I, if I was to look at like my supercharge history in this car, and then calculate the cost, um, I, I you know I'd have to figure that out. I don't even know if I have access to my supercharge records. I don't know. But it's definitely five thousand dollars is is an interesting offer. But I, I think it's just the fact that having the ability to travel and road trip in this car at, at no cost is like a huge benefit and a huge appeal to it. And it's an appeal when it comes to selling the car. And then just this month in April of 2023, Tesla announced a new program. It, it's almost it's like a, they're calling it a loyalty program, but it seems as though they're trying to get rid of the free supercharging, which rightfully so. Some people are probably using that a lot. Like some people that have that and that are driving a ton and are close to superchargers probably are using the free supercharging quite a bit. And I don't blame them. I, If I live closer to superchargers, I would use it more frequently. Really, the only time I use it now is on road trips. And this isn't our primary road tripping vehicle right now anyway. So we're really not using the free supercharging that a whole lot. But their new program in April of 2023 that just came out is that if you will strip off the free supercharging off your car and or trade in trade in your car towards a new Model S or X because it's only the Model S or X that have the free supercharging for life. So if you trade in your car or if you agree to have that stripped off your car, they'll give you six years free supercharging on the purchase of a new Model S or X. Now, I, thought that, I thought that was pretty interesting. I think that's a pretty, I think that's a pretty good offer six years of free supercharging. I've only owned this car two and a half years or so. Yeah, two and a half years I've owned this. Um, You know, having having free supercharging on a new Model S that can charge, that can, or even a new X that can charge at the 250 kilowatt charging rate. It's got a bigger battery capacity. That's a little more efficiency. It's got more tech, a little more autonomy, autonomy that has like maybe the full self-driving package. This only has autopilot one. So it's not as, uh, this just really just does cruise auto you know adaptive cruise and it stays in the lane and it will change the lane if i put on the blinker but that's like like an like enhanced autopilot and and it does have summon so uh but it doesn't have the full self-driving so capabilities and so that's got me thinking is it worth trading in or having the supercharging stripped off the car and and buying a new model s or x i think it's an interesting offer from tesla it obviously shows that they're concerned that there's a liability in the future that people will continually use the free supercharging above and beyond the five thousand dollar value of what um, the of what they're offering. So I'm curious if you guys think leave in the comments down below if you guys think that's a decent offer. If we, if you had a, a Model S that had free supercharging for life, would you take the five thousand dollar offer? Or the six-year free supercharging offer to buy a new S or X. I mean, it is it is kind of a nice appeal because as someone like me, I have a I have a, a Model S right now that has free supercharging, and that's a big reason why I'm keeping it. It really is. And now I didn't. I'm not the original owner of this car, so I didn't pay the original $127,000 price tag that this car was when it was new. I paid much less than that, and so I'm not in the. I, I'm not. I'm not enticed by buying a new Model S for you know ninety thousand dollars. That that's not really enticing me to buy a new one, which is really just a new version of this one, without the free supercharging. And another thing, the new Model S does not have the third row seat or the rear facing seat. That's another reason why I like this car is because it does have that option, and all six of us can ride in this car, and my kids can ride in the back. They really like riding in the back. The back's pretty fun for them to ride rear facing. So, I thought that. Uh, not having free supercharging, not having the rear-facing seat, is kind of a kind of a negative part of the new Model S, even though it is faster and has more range. Anyways, guys, I'm curious to hear what your comments are or thoughts are. If that's something that uh, is even enticing, it's interesting that the Tesla's even doing something like that. But it just shows that they would prefer uh, any owner not to have free supercharging.
Instagram. But anyways, guys, uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.